morning, you ladies. My name is Jack's up the guy, and welcome back to Dredge. We're going to dredge the depths, lads. We're going out. Well, actually, I'm probably just going to sleep first because I don't really have anything to do. Ooh, I have a research part. Um, welcome back. A lot of people asking for more of this game, so I decided I would do another episode on it because why not? It was fun. Uh, what else do I want to get? A net. Higher quality mesh allows this net to hold more and last longer. I don't know how nets work. Okay, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. I'll just sleep first. It's been a, like a week since I did an episode on it, so I already forget how everything works. Um, let me just go out and search first. Look at my little boat. He's so cute. Um, let's go search like some of these islands over here. I've been doing a lot of stuff that's just immediately in my direct vicinity. Like a lot of stuff in the Marrow area, but I think if I'm gonna progress, I need to stop just fishing all the time. It's so addicting. You can just sit here and fish all day, every day, but I think I have to increase my search if I want to start getting stuff to progress the actual story of the game. These shipwrecks seem like a good place to go. Ah, so peaceful. Me and me little bod. That's boat in Irish. Well, this one's easy. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be like that? Yes, 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 please. I shouldn't fill up, though. Uh, put you there. What's over there? What's my map? So that's the Gale Cliffs. Stellar Basin, Twisted Strand, and Devil's Spine. So there's four major areas that I haven't gone to. I probably should. Oh, it's getting late in the day already. There's another... A shipwreck schooner over here. This is where I get my boat killed, isn't it? Cause I dredge too deep, and I'm trying to keep all the sharks out of my ship. What is that? A doubloon! Ha ha! A few doubloonies! Let's go! Nice! Actually, I'm very far from home right now. All the way over there. I think I can just go to this island here and sleep there for the night. I hope to Davy Jones that we don't run into Angler Boy again. Ah! Uh, what is that? This game is so scary at nighttime. Uh oh. What was that? Oh, there he is! There he is! Uh oh! Uh oh! What do we do? Am I even in the right area? Oh, uh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming! Crap! 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 <laughs> Ow! Damn it! Oh my god! Oh, that was so close! I didn't get anything. <laughs> I have a ton of metal! Why am I not using that on anything? Okay, rest. I'm gonna explore this other island a bit more. I had to fix up my ship. Wait. That's not what I want equipped. Why is that equipped? There you go. <laughs> I wanna get around this island. I started closer, so I should be able to. Ooh. Big island over there. I don't wanna go too far too soon. Would it have been easier for me to just go through that island last night instead of chasing my way back, being terrified. Probably. Whoa! Can that lightning hit me? I'm just gonna assume yes, because why wouldn't it? But the type of game this is, everything can kill you! Nice. What did I get? A goblet. Okay, you, you're bound to have some good stuff. Other than just metal. I have metal already. What is this? Okay. These are good. 
Whoa, quick one. A bag of doubloons! Ha <laughs> ha! We're rich, lads! We're rich! The next boat's on me! Whoa. You guys have weird... Oh, it's anglerfish. Disturbed by water. I need abyssal. Whoa. What is that sound? Why is everything here blue? Jellyfish! Okay, don't forget, time doesn't move unless I am, so if you're freaking out for me staying out too late. I've not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some of the lines here and they are illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next months with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart, crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Ooh! It's getting good! Is this a place that I can dock? Oh, nice! Okay, then let's just fish up this, whatever it is. Cool, my book. I'm such a good reader. Spectacles. Excellent. Okay, it's 8pm and I'm scared. To the lab. The laboratory is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Ooh. You can check the cupboards. Research! Inspect the equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuation, evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? Ooh. You look around the floor, there are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along to the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Hey! You pluck an item from a gouge in the floor. Nice! I think that that means now I have enough research parts, yes, to get that engine. Um, I should go for, go away please. When do I get Abyssal? Oh, it's way later. I should start investing in some of these. Hopefully I can get everything eventually. An old generator sputters and ticks over. I love this because it feels like you're playing, um, sort of those D&D &D campaigns or, uh, what do they call it? Like Arkham type of horror game, like the Eldritch HP Lovecraft type of games. Where it's like, do you want to peek through the door, or roll the dice to do something else? I feel like I'm in one of those worlds, and I love that. Probably shouldn't be sleeping, but what else am I going to do? Go out and die? <laughs> Sounds like... Anybody... Whoa! What is that?! Whoa! It's huge! I don't want to get any closer to that. I'm afraid it's going to start pulling me in. Whoa, that's so sick! Why is it red? Is, is that bad? Is red bad? Should I leave? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not staying near that thing. Holy hell. Well, that must be the fort over there. I should have put a lot of this stuff in storage. God damn it. Whoa, that was a weird thing to fish. Um... Crap. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can maneuver some stuff. Do you fit here? Yes. Oh, so suddenly being in a new area is so scary. Cool fort. Mind if I ransack? What does this do? 
10% chance to not reduce fishing stocks. That wasn't the one I just did, is it? Equipment types that use durability will lose a 10% slower. Excellent. We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of Stellar Basin to see the lights. We talked for hours. Something we have not done in such a long time. Waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight. Sometime past midnight, we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep. The aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off it. P.S. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days, but I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Like that? Fair enough. I'm sure you guys are fine. You got off this place and had a happy marriage and you're not dead at the bottom of the ocean. Shipwrecked. I'm sure everything's great. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, uh, yes. I thought you had the look and the smell. <laughs> but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had time. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Okay, so you need Aurora Jellyfish, Firefly Squid, and a Glowing Octopus. None of which I know anything about because this is a brand new area. Um, so I leave for now and put some stuff in storage. Yes. I need to get some place that I can sell fish again. I've also ventured far too far, too soon. And now I have no idea what else to do. Uh, let's just go over and search this island. Why not? Look at it sitting over there. I can make my way back. Everything's fine. Stop panicking. We're just out in the middle of the ocean where you can't see the bottom and it's abyssally dark. And there's dolphins. Wow. Can I fish you? Can you help me fish? Oh, that's cool. This music feels like The Last of Us. I'm getting lastified. The dredge of us. Come on, epic treasure. If I could not be a dumbass. Come on, epic treasure. A boot! A fancy boot! Those boots weren't made for walking, they were made for dredging! Oh, this music's epic! I'm going on a grand adventure! Let's push a little further in. That was the lab over there. And the Kraken of the Deep right there. Shipwreck. Surely one of you has something for that workshop guy. Or whatever his name was. Maybe not workshop, but... Oh, the sound of that is so menacing. But there must be a place with a fishmonger somewhere here that I can sell stuff to, right? I can't just be in the middle of the island. Or in the middle of the game world. Oh, that's so cool. Can I dredge him? Can I bring like a bomb out to the middle and then just drop it on him? That'd be sick. Who's here? Ah. Traveling merchant. Ahoy there, you're a new face. A fisherman, I take it? Perfect. Well, we should get along into it like a house on fire. I'm a traveler and a merchant, and rolled into one. All rolled into one. <laughs> I can't read. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to per peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Okay. Nice! 
save my ass. Otherwise, they were gonna go rotten. Make upgrades to your boat. Here's the floating dock. Check it out. Okay, I still need bits for this. I still need refined metal, which I have no idea how to make. Um, I can buy a new engine. No, I can't. I'm poor. Oh, refined metal! 500! Oh! Let me get all the fish! I'll be back! Hoi! 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 That's such a weird one to do. Oh, yeah. Ow! The gold one didn't even have a chance to get up there. 485! Ugh! I'm so close! Oh. Hey again, come by for a chat. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely! I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travel so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Uh, reckon you could share your info with me? Sure, I can help with that. Great! The fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper, eel, goliath, tigerfish, and coelacanth. Hmm. Okay. I'll bring those back. What are these? Is this that firefly squid? Yeah! That was one that the lady needed. Whoa! A radiant squid! Nice. Okay, let's not overfish them. Whoa, that gets intense at nighttime. Whoa, I don't want to be here. <laughs> this place is terrifying. Um, okay, fish market. I'm not going to sell you all of these. Because I need that. Yes, 616. Let's go, refined metal. Yeah! Because now that can go on to this. Perfect! Man, I these should be so easy to get. What do we get? Upgrades your... Oh, I need 500 to do it as well. Rest into a tier 2 hole and adds 5 new cargo spaces. Oh, that would be so nice. But alas, until then, I sleep. Oh, there's a little town here. If you could call it a town. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. The faint dance upon its surface. Faint shapes dance upon its surface. Yeah, they never do anything. They never do anything. Do anything. Do anything. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Yes, cloth! Give it to me, baby! Ow, 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 ow! Yes, more than one! Woo! We're rich! Rich in cloth! Boom, baby, one more! Yes, one more for daddy! Woo! Yeah, baby! Excellent! Most, most excellent! Okay, I don't need any wood right now, but it's good to know that it's there. Oh! There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Pick him up! He's so cute! Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. You jump off the boat into the high, or thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Pat the dog! You're too far away to pat the dog. Okay, slowly approach. Call for the dog. Cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Call for the dog again. Doesn't seem to want to come any closer. Okay, slowly approach. It seems startled and runs back up to the shoreline. God damn it. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. Pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand, and it seems to understand you're not a threat. You make your way back to the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop to turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. 
You continue, this time with the dog alongside, its tail wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. Oh! Oh no! Does somebody want the dog? <laughs> Because I can't just bring the dog with me and take up four slots on my ship forever. I'm, so I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. I'll be back. I'll be back. I know who you are. This is not the end for you. I will return. I know. I'm a cold, heartless bastard. I know so many of you are screaming at me right now. Look, my logic is sound. What if I'm out in the middle of the ocean, and I get attacked by a giant monster, and then the dog dies? At least there the dog is alive, I can come back and feed him. But if he comes with me on the ship, he just takes up room, and I will get him killed by accident. Oh, this rock is doing something. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? Holy crap, get away from that! I don't want it! <laughs> Jesus! Why does everything in this game want to kill me? And the only thing that didn't want to kill me just takes up space! Christ! Give me my new thing! Well, you can't yet, because I need money, but... Oh. Uh, fish market. I need to remember not to sell my other one. Oh my god, that was so scary! I got a piece of a map. A large scrap of paper with some shapes drawn on it. In one corner is a compass symbol. Ooh. To raise your map? Don't mind if I yes. Also, the squid died on my way to the other lady. So I'll just sell to you. Then everything else has to go in my storage. until I can figure out what most of them do. I need to head back to be able to sell all this stuff. There's so many. I want to be so rich. Uh. I also need to fix my ship because it's battered and broken. And research into a rod. Yes. Okay, I'll fish around here a bit more, go to sleep, and then head back to my main islands again. I hope this guy buys all my junk, then I'm able to afford the bigger engine. I want to start going fast. I mean, I'm not slow, but... You know, it would be nice to go fast. He pulls a book for- Ooh, you give me a book? Sell all. 367. 534. That should be enough, right? Oh, I could have just sold from storage. What am I doing? Did he give me a book? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. That is a big storm coming in. Honey, you got a big storm coming. And I don't want to be here for it. Because right now what's killing me is getting to a new area takes a whole day for me. Unless me just being faster means that the time goes faster. That would be annoying. <laughs> Um, how much is this? 450. Yes. But I also have to sell this one. Because it doesn't fit. Wait, this is 26 plus 15. Is this just worse then? I need more slots. If I get more slots, then I'm good, right? If I upgrade my ship to be where it needs to be. Oh wait, isn't that the thing that I was trying to do? Yeah, I just didn't have the money for it. Oh! Thank God I remembered that. <laughs> that would have been so annoying to buy the engine, not really get any sort of speed upgrade and then go, oh wait, my boat. So what do I need for these? Wood, metal, and cloth. Which, I mean, I basically have. Four more spaces. Ooh, engine space. Yes, metal and wood. I have that. But I don't have 
This is exactly what I need. I'll go out and fish a little. I'm just, I just be fishing. You know? Any compliments down there that I can fish for? Are these crab pots that I have? Ooh. 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 Also needs repair. I don't have room. I'll be back. Those are some big sharks that I want to get. Yeah. Engine space. How much space do we have? It's not great. <laughs> I thought it would be way more than that, but whatever. What do I know? I'm just a fucking fisherman. Fishing in the sea. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Come here, a fucking a shark! It's... It's... There has to be f a far more efficient method of putting them in storage that I'm just... Ew! Like, th there's a way of doing this. And my brain just doesn't want to figure it out. Let's go, big engine! Hold on! Need to make room! Do I have to sell this one? I think I do. There's not enough space. So I traded 36... I traded a 26 for a 36, so I got 10 knots more. Which is... I mean, it's not great, but... I'll take it, you know? Whatever you can get, we should be zooming along fairly well now. Let's give her a test. Hey! I barely notice a difference! Sick! What's the point of that? <laughs> uh, look how pretty this is. The colors in this game are gorgeous. Love it. What were the fish this lady said she wanted? Um... Orfish, gulper eels, goliath... Okay, so I don't have any of them. I found a fucked up looking shark. If you want that. A bloodskin shark. Sells for two hundo. That's a lot of dosh. Cargo spaces or rod spaces? Rod spaces might be nice. Cargo spaces are also nice. I'll do that. Like I said, I'm gonna get all of them anyway, so... Might as well start here! <laughs> Anything else I can put in this one? Some metal. Some wood. Okay, I need a lot of cloth again. You can hear the dog barking! No! I'm having an existential crisis! <laughs> I kind of want to look up a guide about the dog to see do they actually do anything because I feel horrible. I feel so bad leaving the dog behind. Like are game mechanics really worth your soul? Puppy! I'm so sorry! Oh, and everybody would have given him a name. Oh, I'm just the worst people. I'm doing it. I'm looking it up. Nothing else. I just want to know about the dog. Okay, it does say that somebody wants the dog. That somebody will take the dog. So that makes me feel a little better. That I'm not just going to have a dog on board that gets attacked by fish over and over again. I think that that's worth saving you for, little pooch. Okay, how, how did I do this again? Throw some fish. Uh... Uh, slowly... Okay. Backs up a little ways. It sits. Uh, uh, call for the dog. Okay. Hold that fish in your hand. Yeah. Wait, I'm patting the dog and it's not doing anything this time. No! Oh. 
Oh, I forgot that I have to leave and then it follows me. Okay. Come on, little pooch. You lift a dog onto the deck and walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Okay. I will. I will. You're not going to die at sea. None of us are. We deserve better. Maybe the research lady wants a dog. Hey, lady. You want a dog? This dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh, gosh. Let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. The match made in sea. I could definitely take this one off your hands. And I'd love the company. Are you sure? You should take the dog. But my only request is that you name him Beans. Yes, thank you. Oh, yay. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. <gasps> I get treasure. Oh, a ring. Okay. <laughs> Just give over the dog, and then he's like, There you go. Oh, that makes me feel better now. Is that a hammerhead shark? Oh, hell yeah! I have way too much stuff on me for this. Can I fix this? I don't know if I can. I don't think I have the room for this guy. But I shall make room! Ah, one board is not that big a deal. I can find plenty more boards. But there's not plenty more fish in the sea! Wait, that- Whoa. What is this? Looks like a key. Ooh, a collector's item! Hell yeah! Oh my god, it was right next to him. I was searching all over the place for stuff like that. And it was right next to his house. It's so annoying. <laughs> Wait, what is it? An abnormally large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. That's a Cthulhu key right there. What if I end up helping this guy and he's actually just opening up a portal to another dimension and lets Cthulhu through? That'd be cool. Nothing, nothing in HP Lovecraft or Eldritch Horror ends well. It's always bad. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this whole? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. Turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. Whoa. Burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Ooh, nice! My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Dude, that's where I just was. Oh no, I was in Stellar Basin. I was in the southwest. Got it. Twisted Strand and Devil's Spine. I wonder which is the volcanic one. This kind of looks volcano-y. But I don't know. Gale Cliffs. Okay, we can head there. What's my new ability? Imbue your engines, engines with otherworldly speed. Beware of overheating. Oh, wait. I <laughs> Come on! I barely tapped that! Wow! Let's go! What is that sound? Is that my engines? 
I think it was my engine making that sound. Okay, I lost one of the octopuses that I had. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you! Who were you expecting? Your engine! It sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Interesting. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Huh. Okay, I gotta repair that damage now. That thing only sells for 32, but it was such a magnificent specimen. Okay, let's rest and then boost our way to Gale Cliffs tomorrow. That's nice. God, I'm so fast now. But in the bottom left, you can see that you start overheating, so I need to be very careful, because I imagine that'll break my engine. Um, yeah, just this way. The cooldown on it is nice, though. Oh my god, I'm so much more effective now. There it is. Gale Cliffs. I love the little lights on the houses as you approach. And the way they reflect in the water. It's so pretty. It's such a gorgeous video game. Oh, what's that? Big orange boy! Hello! Okay, it's just a fucked up shark. I guess I might as well bring some with me. There's bound to be someone I can sell these to when I get there. I won't fill up too much in case I need more space. Whee! Ooh, sailfish! Oh, it's almost! Come on, you can fit somewhere. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, you go away. I like the sailfish more. I think it sells for more money. Whoa, look at that! Wait, what does my telescope do? Cool. Identify fish at distance. Oh. Research parts! God, my boat's shaking all over the place. Look at this, like, Jurassic Park gate. Bum ba 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 da da Hey, traveling merchant. That's your thing, right? Yeah. I can sell you my fish. Oh. Boom. And this sells for 105. It's actually not that different. So... I didn't really save a whole lot of... Or I didn't gain a whole lot more by getting rid of that other fish. The shark. Um, vessel. S.Y. Grand Prize. M Michael Schult. Oaken music box purchased from the antiquarian antiquarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck, has the letter J carved on the underside. Otherwise in reasonable condition, has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by locksmith. A wooden mask, carved wooden tribal mask, said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. Seems like you got a great deal. 12 piece tea set. Bone China. Six times cups, six times saucers. Acquired from an Eastern dealer. Do not use. And a jar of earth. A jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. I've got a jar of dirt. Whoa. Whoa! Are you damaging to my boat? I'll just stay away. Okay, what missions have y'all got? Ah. What missions can this lowly fisherman avail of? Ingfell. Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to protect a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here we consider aged conga eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. 
Sad boy. Bad dog. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? I sure can. Where can I catch them? Ah, yes. They can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and I did mention that they only come out at night. Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Okay, easy. No! God damn it, I clicked it by accident! I can get some stuff done. What a delightful little video game. Literally obsessed. Um... Wait, there was another guy back there that I could have talked to, but he didn't have a mission. Oh, what are you? A blackmouth salmon. New fish is always welcome. Everybody's welcome on board the jack ship. Shit. Um. Also need to. Ooh, like seven hundred dollars. That is most, most excellent. I fished the place clean. What else you got? This is the research part. I might try and get that other fishing rod because this might be a place where you need a mangrove, a mangrove rod or whatever it was. That's a tricky one. And a big one. A wreck fish. I came in like a wreck fish ball. I've never hit so hard in love. Oh. Boof. 926. I am how you would say rich, no? This music just makes me think of French people. <laughs> Uh, what else can we buy? I can't- I don't have space for another engine. Ooh, bigger lights! And more refined metal. I'm gonna get this now, because that is gonna come in handy. And a new light. Why not? I deserve it! Yeah! I got a little beam on the front now! Fuck yeah. Okay, she said they only come out at night along the cliffs. What is that? Wow! Holy crap! It's a monster! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Oh. My. God. I just wanted some fish, man! Do you think I, I could still get some? Do you think he's just gonna attack me every time I go in there? That was fucked! Well, you're not eels. But well, you're weird. A stonefish. Okay. I'll just take what I can get. That was terrifying. That's the scariest thing I've seen in the game so far. Oh my. I did not expect something like that to start chasing me. Whew. Got a little hot in the collar on that one. <laughs> oh, this is a dock as well. Is there somebody here to talk to? Ooh, a sweet old man. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. Oh, ah, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Explosives. This place doesn't seem safe when you live here. Do you know where I can clear the debris? Okay. Aye, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long, my wife and I had such a beautiful life. Until they collapse. Whoa, did that all collapse from up here? Now I'm alone, and I've cut off by land and sea. 
Left only these trembling rocks on all sides. I can help you move to Ingfell. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. Don't tell me you have to kill the creature. Bombs. Bombs would do it. That's a lost cause, I know. But if you were to find it, it's a large whale bone crest. Ah. I look for it. Ah. Also. Ah. Hmm, you would probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives. With the whaling operations, you see. Nasty stuff. But with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. Okay, he must be the retired guy at the other place then. To the whaler! Buen, buen. God, I love my little engine. Oh, not too fast. You don't want to crash and burn and die. What is it? I heard you used to make explosives. Aye, I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the more pleasant, but it got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliffs. Ah, but I'm not sure. I don't have the energy these days. I'd have a use for some explosives like that. Like, if you're going to make some and give them out, like, I can... I can do stuff with bombs! All right, I'll think on it some more, but I make no promises. Okay. Is there anything else you can do for me? Okay. The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I expect he's regretting his decision now. So I'm assuming that the thing I need for the collector is behind that debris. He just said he'll think on it. That doesn't help me. I want you to not think on it. I want you to do it. Maybe I should go back and talk to the brother again? I don't know. Ooh, a bottle. Tell me your secrets, tiny bottle. He still refuses to take me aboard when he is working. He is convinced that I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I am being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I am so desperately bored at home when he is away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to, ha to let me have a go. Huh. That's what I do. I dredge. I'm the dredger. That's what they call me. Good old Dredgy. Dredgy the Dredger. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's dredging time. And then everyone gets excited. Okay, so I need to figure out a way of getting one of those eels. Whoa. Was that him I heard? What is happening? Oh, that is him. Is he gonna come this way? Oh my god, he's large and in charge. Ah. Oh god, oh god, it got me. Oh god. Okay. Okay, I'm in the wrong place. I come in the wrong house. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, my hole is damaged. Oh my god, I took so much damage. One more hit and I die. Is he still chasing me? I thought he didn't come out at daytime. Oh, this is important. Oh my god, I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, this is the crest. Ow! Oh! I thought I had to do like the bomb thing first and then I was able to do that. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, ah, ah, oh, terrifying. Why is such a simple looking game so scary? <laughs> I'm so scared all the fucking time. Okay, stuff's rumbling, stuff's grumbling, things are exploding, my ship's about to break apart. Okay, I just need to get back. I just need to get back and repair and then we're good. I'll go to you first and talk to you about your sh you and your stupid brother's feud. Is this your family, Chris? You found it! I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now, I have a further favor to ask. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to say, can you go here and do this? But it's just to bring it to his brother. Tell him his brother is sorry, and would like him to come home. Yeah, your brother said some bullshit. I don't know. I was too busy, like, in the throes of dying to hear what he said. Oh, why is everything getting all cloudy and miserable? This is going to cost me a lot to fix, isn't it? Mm. 90? Ugh. I can at least fix some of them. One of them. Wow! I've never had that happen. That bastard chased me so far. Okay, repairs are more important right now. I'm back, old man. I believe this crest is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since. <laughs> so he did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? Hmm. I don't know if I was in the right state when he left. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop. At least for the time being. But I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. I just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Oh, that's where I saw it. Isn't it just the one, like, right there? I don't know. I need to fish and sell and fish and sell and figure out how to not die. Uh, let's go over and sleep at this one. Oh no, it was the other one I saw. So I don't want to go in there now because that giant mega thing will kill me. That was so cool! As much of an asshole as he is and as scary as he is, it's really, really cool to see something chase you like that in this game. Did he mark it on my map? Nope. Yeah, it was... Here. Whoa! I thought you weren't here during the daytime! It's daytime! You need to go away! Tokyo Drift! I'm gonna lead him on a wild boat chase. My god! Most triple-A horror games can't get this level of tension going. As long as fuse, yes. You light the fuse. Whoa! The debris crumbles away. You should let the whaler know. Well, hold on now a second. While something's not chasing me, I should just get some treasures. Can he give me bombs that I can just put down anywhere? That'd be cool. Set a bomb on the creature. Blow him to bits. I thought seeing a giant tentacle monster under the ocean would have been the scariest thing that we were going to see in this episode. At least that thing left me alone. Well, technically, I left it alone. And in turn, it did so as well. You've done it. We heard the blast from here. Gods, the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can go home. Yeah, buddy. We love a family reunion. Woo!
He said it's safe now. You can come. Do I have to put you in my little boat? He does. That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old. I hardly remembered it was there. Right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. Let me put my little man in my little boat. <laughs> Thank God you don't have to go far. Although, it does take me like an hour to do this trip. According to the in-game time. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock, waiting for him. Please hug. Little brother, you're home. Uh, I'm so sorry, I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside, let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. If you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards anytime. Is now a good time? On the house! Packed explosives! I hope you can put them to good use, wherever you find cause for it. Okay, 36 per thing. Okay. Dude, I am going to blow this place sky high. You're gonna regret giving me explosives. Okay, I don't know how many explosives I need, but I kinda want infinite of them. Nice. Okay, that'll do. And then in the morning, we're blowing stuff up! Alright, how does this work? Use explosives. Nice! Nice! That thing is still flying around though. Ooh, is this refined metal? Yeah, baby! I wasted $500 redos on one of these now. <laughs> Feels like such a waste. Nice. God, that's satisfying. Where else was there one? Where else can I blow holes? Over here. I'm coming! I think I could actually just access all these areas. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't I do the one at where the old man's house was? I think I should. So I need at least two more. Maybe he only sells the perfect amount. Like he sells five or six of them. And you, there's only five or six uses in the entire game. You heard that, right? Like, is this something I can blow up? Yeah. Hell yeah. Then I should be able to get the thing for the collector in here, right? Uh, am I being attacked, like, right this second? Should I be leaving? I hear him. He's over there somewhere. Yeah. This is the thing for the collector. Nice! And then he's gonna give me an upgrade that's like... Now you can teleport across the universe! Fuck yeah. Hello, Mr. Collector! I'm back! Ah, God! <coughs> I'm bad at my job! Look, the whole thing sways! What am I supposed to be doing? So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. We dragged the massive box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind, he's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson book, uh, his crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. You feel your stomach drop suddenly as though Thrown high by a wave, he closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Instantly return to Blackstone Isle? Dude, I was joking! The reef at Stella Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. Okay. So, oh, you want me to go to the beast? 
You want me to- you want me to go to the area that's gonna get me killed. Giant creature. Who knows, maybe- maybe there's time to actually fish up something. I don't know. But I'm gonna leave this episode here! We got a lot done! Uh, two new upgrades, now I can just immediately return back here whenever I get something. Which is also good, because that means I can return to Greater Marrow pretty quickly whenever I want to, so... Some kind of fast travel is nice. Maybe at some point he'll give me an upgrade where I can go to any of the islands whenever I want. And that'll really start speeding up our progress. But that's gonna do it for me for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a great game. I think I'm just gonna finish it out. I think it's it's so cute and it's so quaint and I like what's going on with it and I want to see where it goes so I'm going to finish it out. Um, don't forget to check out my coffee as well, topofthemorningcoffee.com. Go get yourself something there. I'm going to keep promoting it all the time unless you do. Go do it. Thank you. Bye bye.